All right, this is fifth grade, module five, lesson five. And in this lesson, students are gonna be uh, continuing finding the volume of objects. Uh, but in the previous lessons, we've been doing volume at, in terms of packing. How many individual cubes will fit inside that rectangular prism? In this lesson, we're gonna connect volume as packing to volume as filling in terms of like water. If you pour water into um, a graduated cylinder, uh, that's volume. And we're gonna be connecting the concept of volume as a bunch of individual centimeter cubes to volume being liquid, water, as in millimeters. And that's because one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter of water. So let's get started on this. So I said it on the previous slide, but I'm gonna say it again here. So this is not drawn to scale, but uh, I've got things that are gonna represent cubic centimeters, cubic centimeters. So uh, these centimeters and uh, cubic centimeters, I'm gonna label it as one by one by one in terms of centimeters. So it's one centimeter by cent one centimeter by one centimeter. So that's what this thing is. We're going to call that a cubic centimeter. Now, if you have a cubic centimeter and you, you know, stack them up or you pile them up or something like that, you have a bunch. Now I have four down here. I have four cubic centimeters, right? Now, if, if each one of these was filled with water and I poured it brrr, into this, brrr, into this um, graduated cylinder, right? Now, the thing I want you to know is that this lesson is talking about is one of these filled with water will raise the water level by one milliliter on the graduated cylinder. Um, and so I'm going to zoom in, I guess, is a, a nice idea. I'm going to zoom in. And so the idea is we need to understand that one cubic centimeter of water will raise the water level of, you know, one of these little things, <laughs> one of these little milliliters. So each one of those indicates a milliliter. Oh, actually, holy moly, I grabbed one where each of these is actually equal to two, because look, here's 30, 40, 50, and there's only five lines in between. So each one of these is two. Oh my goodness. But the idea is, each one of these centimeter cubes is equal to um, is equal to one milliliter of water. So the directions here say Johnny filled a container with 30 centimeter cubes. Shade the beaker over here to show how much water the container will hold. So the idea is you got a bunch of these little cubic centimeters and in, in fact we're being told we have 30 of them. And if we were to take all of these cubes and fill them into this beaker, the question is, well, how high would that amount of water go? And I'm just going to pretend that I'm putting it in. And so we know we're told it's 30. So I'm going to zoom in here. And so 30, we got to look at our numbers. And I see 20, I see 40. So 30 is going to be right in between, right here. So this is how high the water will go if we have 30 cubic centimeters, that sent, in this case, centimeter cubes, right? We're not actually filling it with actual water yet, but if we have 30 centimeters, uh, 30 centimeter cubes, so 30 of these babies, if we were to put it in there, it would go this high if it was water, right? So here we're gonna be doing some practice and the idea is it, we have a beaker that's not in our picture right now, but that beaker can, is able to hold um, 250 milliliters of water. And we're gonna pour that water into any one of these containers. I don't know, that's kind of a funky looking container in terms of holding water, but we'll just ignore it. Um, and we want to know which one of these containers could hold that much water. So the idea, so we're going to take, oh, let's do A. 
So A, we're going to multiply 6 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. And so when we multiply those, those uh, three values, so that's going to be 144, because 12 times 12 is 144, times 6, and that gives us 864. So that's 864 cubic centimeters. So could this container hold that much water? And the answer is yes, because 864 cubic centimeters will hold 864 milliliters. And we know we need to hold, we need 250 milliliters. So this container is definitely large enough. Now for question B, for shape B, we are told that the area of that front face is 200 centimeters, I mean 20 centimeters squared. So that means we've already multiplied the length and the width to get the area of that front face. Uh, so we don't know which, what the values are. Maybe one is 4 and the other is 5. Or maybe one is 2 and the other is 10. We don't know, but we do know that when we multiply them, we're going to get 20 centimeters squared. And now we have to multiply further by that 12 centimeters. And we can actually do that in our head because 2 times 12 is 24. Then we just have to add that extra 0. So that's 240 centimeters cubed. Well, that that's 240 milliliters. So A, uh, that's not enough. So B is not enough. A is a smiley face. And we're going to continue multiplying. And if we get a, vol a volume uh, in centimeters cubed, well, that's the same volume in milliliters, and we are looking for the shapes that have a volume of 250 milliliters or greater. So for this problem, it's one of those perfect problems, parents and teachers, where um, this, there is no right or wrong answer. Uh, the students are going to describe the details of the activities that they did. And ideally, what students learned is that we can think of packing in two ways. I mean, volume in two ways. We can either think of packing as in how many of these cubes will fit inside this box. That's one way to think of volume. But then the other way to think of uh, volume is to think of filling in terms of water and how much water will this container hold. And if I wanted to, I can stack this up and, oh, let's say, let's pretend. Whoa. Let's pretend I'm doing this and I'm saying, oh, let's say it's three high six wide and four back deep. So that's three centimeters, six centimeters, four centimeters. And if we wanted to figure out how many cubes would fit in this entire rectangular prism, we would simply, volume is equal to, we would multiply three centimeters times six centimeters times four centimeters. And let's see, 24... 6 times 3 is 18, so then let's do 6 times 3 is 18 times by 4. So we're going to do 18 times 4, and that gives us 72. So that tells us 72 of those little cubes, 72 of those little cubes will fit in this particular rectangular prism. And the idea is that's packing. Now, if we want to talk about filling in terms of water, and then if we we're going to look at this graduated cylinder, and we know that the answer is 72 cubes, centimeter cubes, but that means it's also 72 milliliters. So what that would mean is if I zoomed in, and I wanted to look for 72 milliliters, that would tell me that we would fill up all the way up to right around here. 
and there's our 72 milliliters of water. Um, so I'm going to zoom out again. And so that's really what the focus of this lesson is, is connecting the idea of volume as packing, how many cubes will fit in this rectangular prism, versus volume as filling, as in how much water. And the key thing that we want to know, is, or remember, is this cubic centimeter, this one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter of water. And that wraps up grade 5, module 5, lesson 5, using multiplication to continue doing volume, but now we're connecting packing with filling.